Hello and welcome to this tutorial and in this tutorial we are going to learn how you could set up your own Android project. So basically we were going to write a simple Android application in order to display something onto our emulator but the thing is that you initially need to set up your project so that you could write some code into it. So once you have finished downloading the Android studio you just simply go on to the search bar and you simply type in Android studio and the app should pop up. You simply click on this icon and the Android Studio should start. So once you are done opening up the Android Studio, if you have installed Android Studio for the very first time, you might get a different window which allows you to create a new project. But if you run it for the second time, you will get this kind of layout. And now in order to create a new project in Android Studio, you simply go on file, go to new and click on new project. And this should create a new project for us. So we need to name the project by some name. So let's name the application as let's say my application now once you have typed the application name the next thing which you want to fill up is the company domain name now in this case you want to mention the domain name of your website which you are going to use but in this case as we don't have any domains uh, we could type in anything and the main purpose of this domain is nothing but it is used in order to uniquely identify your app in the play store so for example if you have multiple applications which are named my applications then the two applications would be distinguished based upon the company domain name. So let's say we name it as application.example.com. So once we are done with this, we click next and it is going to show us the minimum SDK or the API level over here. Now this API level is basically the different versions of Android which we have. So the first version of Android is the Android Cupcake and Android 1.0. So basically you want to select the most suitable version for which you want to develop apps. So if you want to develop Android applications for ice cream sandwich, so you could use ice cream sandwich. But the thing is that you want to choose this in such a way that most of the devices should be able to run your application. So if we click the Android ice cream sandwich version, so this app will run on approximately 96% of the devices. So we are good to go. And these options right here are for the other Android devices such as the wearable, the TV, the Android Auto and the Google Glasses. So as in this case, we are going to be developing applications just for mobile phones. We are going to stick with the phone and tablet. And once we have selected the suitable option, just simply click on next. And the next thing which we want to do is we want to select an activity. So the activity is so activity is basically nothing but the initial screen on which we want to write some text or which we want to display something. So basically you could choose no activity at all or you could choose from the following activities right over here. So in this case we are going to choose a blank activity. So we simply click on it and click next and you want to name your activity so in this case the default activity name is the main activity so we are going to leave it like that now finally we click the finish button and it is going to load up the components of the project for us so basically we are done creating a project and we'll, we could see our project right over here in the project explorer bar or the project explorer tab so as you could see it is building up the project for us and right over here you could see the project explorer bar which contains the different types of files which are contained in our app folder and also you need to make sure that you keep an eye on this progress bar which will show you the progress of building the project and once this is complete you could start editing your project so as you could see our project has completely loaded in the android studio here you could see our app which contains these manifest folder which contains the android manifest which contains the xml and we also have our java folder in which we want we could write the java code and then we finally have our resources folder in which we could have our things like the images and other media so that's it for this tutorial and in this tutorial we have learned how you could set up your own android project so that we could write some code into it so in the next tutorial we'll be writing some code or rather we'll be executing this screen right here onto an emulator so we'll basically learn how to run the emulator and how to check the output of your code so thank you very much for watching